recording. Advanced Auto just got all the parts. Some old fuck just tried to uh, cut in front of me. Jumps right on the counter. I'm like, no. Maybe because I was wearing a uh, New York shirt. You don't like that shit. They give you dirty looks then. Florida and I don't like New Yorkers. But, uh, yeah. You got spark plug wires. Woo! And get this, lifetime warranty, right? These spark plug wires and a 5.3. That's the part number right there. But um, I was gonna buy them on Amazon. Well, actually, I did buy them on Amazon. They're taking like three years to ship it, so I said, screw that. I want to see if my T-Rock runs. You know, I'll take the belt off because the power steering so all jacked. But let's start it up for a couple minutes, see if it runs. I broke most of the plug wires. So. On Amazon, I'm not going to give you a lifetime warranty, but on these spark plug wires and um, three years on the plugs. But if I do it in a store, I will. But the only difference is I pay about nine more dollars for the plugs, plug wires, and for the plugs, I save big time. You know, I got those for like 38 bucks yesterday, you know, like a $50 plug set. So I think the better off is paying nine more dollars, right? And um, picking it up in the store if I have any wires again or plugs. Boom, right there, 7.30 to 9 p.m. I get replacements, right? What are you doing? I don't know. Jesus. Are you listening, Jesus, to this? And I can't see, my eyes like half burned on one side. What is this guy doing? He's doing this squiggly squag behind me. No signal, no nothing. Uh, we'll move up though, unlike most people. Oh, he's really screwed up. He can't get it straight. Look at this lady. She can't not drive that van. Oh no, she's going back again. What are you doing? You see how messed up these drivers are? They're unbelievable. What was that all about? Go this way, that way. Got it on tape. Season's back. This is never backed up this far. But backed up eighth mile to the uh, stoplight. Country music. This, is, this one texting. Texting and driving. I tell you, man. People don't believe it when I tell them this place is nuts. What is this all about? Look at the spacing he's leaving. Ooh, I can fit my truck through there. Gotta yeah, keep it tight, New York City style. Hell, I'm I'm pretty far away from that. Still going. He's writing an essay. Don't crash. Still going and moving forward. I'm just video camera. Still going. Texting and driving. So, put my wires on. Oh. Can't run it long. You know, it doesn't have a belt on it. And it's gonna burn up the battery. Oh, you're on quiet. This thing runs smooth. No more shaking like I used to do. All right, we'll shut it off. Go dim the lights so it's not charging. This is radio still on. What? Found another problem. Mosquito. We found another problem. You can't really see that rearmost uh, exhaust bolt sticking out. And it broke. Typical on these LS1 engines, the uh, exhaust manifold bolts break. Well, it went all the way in the back broke, and there's really no way to uh, even extract it because the firewall stepped in for it. So, when more start breaking, that's going to be fun. Pull it out, that'll be the easiest thing. Pull the engine out. You can't do that here. Not a lot of doing that here. So no, 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 no. Surprised I'm getting away with this stuff. That's what we're up against. Chevy van, you probably get broken bolts. Alright, so that's done. All these wires are just a tick bit longer too than the factory ones, but what are you gonna do? They work nice. AC Delco, made in Mexico.
Broken bolt. That thing broke in there pretty good. That's where it is, all the way back there. Nice. It's not leaking yet. I see a lot of these though, broken bolts. They get the common problem. Look at the small the hardware is. It holds the manifolds on. Are you kidding me?